St. Francis Xavier comes to life in a new EWTN docudrama, St. Francis Xavier to the End of the Earth. The screening marks the fourth centenary of the canonization of the two great Jesuit friends, St. Francis Xavier and St. Ignatius of Loyola. The docudrama is produced by Christiana Video in collaboration with EWTN, written and directed by Daniela Gurrieri. It was really interesting to enter in the origin of the Society of Jesus, also to understand St. Francis Xavier, of course, the friendship with, uh, uh, with Ignatius of Loyola. And we decided to reenact also their first meeting because it, was, uh, it is nice to see also the difficulties that St. Francis Xavier had towards uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola. Uh, at the beginning, he didn't want to, uh, to be a friend of his, uh, so he, he rejected him. And so it is nice to see also the work of the spirit of work of St. Ignatius of Loyola that he did on, on him uh, and how this friendship was born little by little. I believe that the time has come for me to do the spiritual exercises. Francis. God alone. This atmosphere of friendship reached beyond the film and also extended to the actors and the crew. Guglielmo de Simone, who played St. Ignatius, says that the whole process was a fun and enriching experience. It has been a very funny period. Now, during the, 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 the working week, uh, I could meet so much uh, uh, beautiful people. It has been a very great experience. St. Francis Xavier was brought to life for the film by Indri Ketesa Shiroka, a young Albanian actor. Indri shares that this role helped him to come back to the faith. Lord, what do you want from me? In the years, um, let's say I, w I was going a little bit far from, from the faith. And um, trust me, this movie has, has made me close uh, to, to my faith. To, to my being Catholic, and uh, and his figure, and uh, is, has been a, a guide, a light for me to follow, and and I think I will always keep this role in, in, in my mind, in my heart, in my body, and in my soul. The head of the Vatican Dicastery for Communications, Paolo Ruffini, shares that this docudrama is a reminder of the power of the sacrament of baptism. I found very impressive uh, the words of, on the baptism, on the importance of, of, of being baptized uh, to establish a never-ending link with God. And, uh, and uh, I think we have to rediscover the importance of, he, of being baptized, of being one, and uh, to build the unity of the human being all over the world uh, by conversion. When he is baptizing uh, plenty of people in India and uh, the, that feeling of, of, of being so tired, you know, but that, which is beautiful as, as we, we saw in the movie, like to be tired um, about the missionary work like after baptizing, after bringing the God's word all over the world. The premiere was held in the rooms of the Church of the Jesu in Rome, which is a very important place for the Society of Jesus and for both St. Ignatius and St. Francis Xavier. We are very happy to be here because just um, above us, uh, we have the, the uh, tomb of St. Ignatius of Loyola on one side, and opposite, there is the arm of St. Francis Xavier. <laughs> the rest of the body is in India, in Goa. The importance of a relic uh, is, is really strong. We have his arm, the, the, the arm of St. Francis Xavier that uh, through which he baptized thousands and thousands of people. This is why the, the relic of the arm was brought here. And so it is very meaningful to be here, to have a screening, a first screen, public screening here in, in Rome at the Jesuits' main church, Church of the Gesù.
Together with St. Francis Xavier and St. Ignatius, St. Teresa of Jesus, founder of the Carmelite Reform and a female doctor of the church, St. Isidore the Laborer, a patron saint of Madrid, and the Roman saint, St. Philip Neri, founder of the Oratorians, are also celebrating their 400th canonization anniversary.